Hey guys, it's me, Meteor, and welcome back to the final time in the main story for Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze. Today we're going to be doing 6 8 Meltdown Mayhem and then the final boss. Let's go ahead and begin. This is it. The final level. Huh, seems pretty uh, ominous, but doesn't seem like anything too crazy yet. Let's go and break open that door. And now we can tell exactly what's going on here. And that is Lord Frederick laughing in the background. If we go back here to the left. We'll get our first. You can only get past this door once you open the door to the right hand side. So once you break everything down, this room opens up. Once again, nothing crazy. Just a bunch of ice physics and bananas on ice physics. That's it. No real moving platforms. No really any place to fall down. Just. Easy going, easy gliding for some bananas. And there's our first puzzle piece. One out of five. We're already making good progress. But let's see what kind of stuff we have to expect here. So yeah, ice in a volcano. That's uh, quite interesting. But not everywhere in the volcano, only in certain spots. As you can tell, it's also a lot harder to get. Enemies are in more interesting placements. Let me get all of these. Now this spot here, you can break open two, and it lifts up this platform this way. But we have one last preambi level, baby. Let's go bust through stuff. You also can see the platform is being made and knock stuff down too. Oh, I should have actually broken that down that way. Oh well. Oh well, whatever. No big deal. Crap. Oh, well, I still made it. Don't care. You could rush past this part, but at the same time, you don't want to miss anything too crazy. Like, for example, you want to jump on him. Ah, uh, wait, no, I'm going to die. Yep, I'm going to die. Maybe you do have to be a little bit quicker than uh, than just normal space. What? Well, that was interesting. Well, oh yeah, you can't be too quick because this thing only falls at a certain distance. Ah. Now here, let's do a jump. Got the K. Wait, hold on. Ah! Yeah, it melts pretty quick in the lava, and, uh, yeah, doing great so far. Alright, I'm not even at the crazy, hectic part yet. This is like a tutorial of sorts, of what to expect. And I'm already messing up, so, yay! No, ah, dang it. Alright, come on. There we are. No, flip. I need to run and then pound and then jump over to the next one. Why am I messing up so bad? Like, th this part. I didn't even mess up with this part at all before. Whatever. Alright, and then jump. There we are. Now fun begins. Wait. Alright, let's do this, and then run, baby! It's time to get the fun started. Don't run too quickly. You're gonna fall and st lose stuff that way. But don't want to run too slow, either. There's our O. Rust through these. Get all these while we're at it, and get that puzzle piece there. Make sure you hit it at the right time, otherwise, 
you're gonna fall into a pit and die. All right, let's go ahead and do this. Get that puzzle piece right there real quick before it falls. There we go. Wee. Wait, no, flip, I went too fast, I was too ambitious. Thankfully, the checkpoints are uh, pretty generous of them. Don't need that. I already got the puzzle piece for that. All right. No, wait. It's the same thing I did again, almost. I'm just going to wait here until it cracks and it can fall underneath there. And... Ah, hold on. There we are. Whew. That was pretty crazy stuff. Wait for it to fall down quickly. Run! Just keep running! Wait! Uh, nope! Don't want to move too quickly! Don't want to move too slow either. Come on, drop. There we go. So we're gonna just here and then jump and then jump. No, wait, no! Ah. Uh, Alright, let's try this again. Now, this time we wait. We get magma following behind us. Be quick. Do not stop moving. Make one misstep, that lava is directly behind you. So keep moving. Keep running, Rambi. No, shoot. Alright, let's try this again. Come on, Rambi. Don't fail me this time. Just keep running. Let's keep on doing this, baby. Quick! Jump! Oof. Did I get everything? No, I'm missing two puzzle pieces. Oh. Well, I mean, you're going back for those then. Alright, let's see here. Ah, uh, nope. Well, I am going to be going back for a couple puzzle pieces, so uh, I guess I'll see you there, but I at least got the Kong letters, so that's cool. How did I miss them? Hmm. But yeah, you have to be, if you make a misstep at the last section with the lava, I will say though, the first time I did this level, when I first played through the game, I had a lot harder time on that level. But when I, this, when I was practicing this up, like I was, I was outright straight dreading this level, but then I did my practice run of it, and... It was like 500 times easier than I remember. It was still somewhat hard, but I mean, it's not as crazy as I thought it was. But anyway, let me go find those puzzle pieces. All right, one's in here. Now I need to find out where that last one is. All right, here you have to get all of these and stuff. Once it plays and then last puzzle piece. There we go. Now time to just finish this level one more time. Alright, now that we're done there with the puzzle pieces and the Kong letters, it's time to face the final boss in the Volcano Dome. Let's do this. <laughs> Looks like we're in another section of this uh, castle or whatever it is. But... Let's get ready. I guess the developers are fans of Game of Thrones. No, I don't watch that show. Can't be a Mario slash Donkey Kong game without lava, right? Actually, that's not true. Well, it is true of Mario, but anyway. This guy honestly doesn't really feel like a final boss. And in many ways, 
he is easier than some of the bosses we've already fought. Now, this, this section would kind of be hard to hit him with if he didn't just kind of stop to do that every so often, which keeps just throw him then, and he knocks it off. And then eventually he's going to start racing in towards you. Jump on him. Jump back. Jump on him. Jump back and jump. Oh, I, I missed. And I, uh, well, I took a hit. That was unexpected, but fair enough. I was expecting to just get out of phase one that, like, super quick. But no, I guess, uh, I have to wait a little bit longer before I get out of phase one. It's fine. So if I die, like, from phase one, I'm gonna be super, super ticked. It's fine. You can even just stay on the ground, it doesn't actually affect anything. Unlike some of the other bosses we fought, like Bashmaster. Wow. Can I hit you? There we go, finally. By the way, now he goes into phase two. But let's go in and he's gonna start jumping on you real quick. So, ah, crap. You're moving to the exact spot I do not want you to jump to. So, uh, see, I, I, I should have stayed in the exact same way I was until he jumped. But no, I was, t I was testing myself in the last second. Now for this, you'll start seeing icicles come down. And when you see that, jump out of the way. And then quickly jump back again, just in case one hits the other spot you were just at. And then essentially, he does the same thing again. He sends out the enemies. But stay in the middle one and get the middle one, because it's a bunny that jumps higher. The only real difficult part about this is, well, the fact it's... The fact there's ice physics. If it wasn't for these ice physics, really, this guy would be a joke. It kind of still is a joke, but... I, I, nope, I, that was my own fault. Yep, yep. That's fine. I expected to get at least, like, a few deaths out of this. I mean, I, I'm not, I, even though he's not the hardest boss, he's still not a, he's still pretty difficult like most bosses in this game. Either way, I'll meet you at phase two. Got you into phase two immediately that time. I was going to stay on this puck this time. All right. See, he also alternates how many times he does his jump thing. Sometimes he can jump just twice, sometimes he jumps like three times, sometimes he jumps five, sometimes he jumps on you all the way to the end. So you have to really be put on your feet at all times with that. That is really the only truly difficult move to, to dodge, is that move where he tries to jump on you. Because it's kind of hard to predict where he's going to be at any given time. The second hardest part is trying to ju judge and jump him on properly when he's, you know, on, when you're on ice. If it wasn't for this ice, this battle would be like a thousand times easier. So really, this battle is really more difficult just for the controls working against you, which is kind of like a cheap way of doing things, but... Alright, and then again... Ah, oh, there we go! Oh, sweet, I got you three times in the same hit. Nice. By the way, now, he's gonna do this trick. Stay on the last moving platform. If you see something fall, wait till it ends, and then jump back up so you don't fall in lava, because it will fall to the lava. And now we're in phase three already. Once again, he's gonna do this whole dragon thing. So he's used a lot more of them now. That's the only real difference between it. Same strategy. Once you see it going above you, jump here, and then jump back immediately. And, uh, yeah. That's, that's it. I was gonna go shoot at his enemies again. Let's just wait for this real quick. Also jump on the bunnies so they don't get in your way or anything. Up. Oh, yep, okay. Now last time he's gonna just charge you really quickly, so be aware of that. Ah, oh, dang it. Shoot. Alright, let's see which one's gonna fall first. Nope. Let's stay here. Dang it! I I don't know why I tried to jump to the right, so I should have just jumped to the left. Oh well. That was my own fault. 
Alright, back to phase three again. Let's see what you do. Alright, come on, man. Yep, that's fine. Nope. You also see when they're going to end as well because the lava drops from underneath them. So there's that. Alright, go do your little thing. Yeah, it's just not a very enjoyable boss either. I mean, it's just not fun. Like, you're playing the waiting game most of the time. He's like a... He's like Pi Ribbit, is what he is. Pi Ribbit wasn't even hard either. Just you're waiting the entire time for him to get back in the foreground and do the move that you need to actually hit him with. This guy's the same way. This guy's isn't a fun fight. It's just long. You're forced to wait the entire time to do stuff. All right. Oh, that actually, I actually did hit you? That was surprising. I didn't think it would. All right, let's do your little charge thing. Oh, man, I thought I got you. Aw, oh, nope. I got you one time, at least. That's that's something. And this attack's even easier to dodge than his other jumping attack. So his phase two jump is actually easier than the previous jump. Yep. Now this is actually, what? I ducked! Now for this, when you see wings jump, when you see that, duck. Got, aha, I got one hit, fair enough. All right, it's all good. Just got my heart back, took a hit. Gonna go back to your little dragon move. All right, bring out your enemies again. Do 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 I almost missed. All right, let me get this last hit in on you. Come on, if I don't hit you out of one of these three times, I'm gonna be super ticked. Nope. There we are. 24. Alright, that's fine. And now we see a cutscene. Looks like, like he made a banana and split. Ah! <laughs> uh, I was waiting for a while to make that joke, actually. Donkey Kong's so awesome, you can actually shrink things. And reverse it to make spring come along early. Mario Odyssey all over again. And thus, it's back to its tropical state. You'd think it'd be like a whole song, but no. I guess there kind of is with this. So, overall thoughts of the game. Yes, the game is frustrating. I will not deny that. But man, is it fun. There is so much variety, so much to do, and it just feels good whenever you do something. I, I, can't, the, I, I can't praise this game enough, really. This is just... Donkey Kong games are great. They really are. And I just... This... I had my qualms with the first one, uh, mainly the fact you can't swim, and also the fact you had to shake the Wii Remote to roll, but this game just went above and beyond. The only real thing I like better from the original is the fact the original had more minecart and rocket barrel levels, but really, the, the platforming of this game is awesome, and I, it's just so good. I, I, I do feel like there's a lot of similarities in terms of its design and controls 
Rayman Origins, like the underwater sections, for example, seem like straight out of Rayman Origins. But either way, that's not really a big deal, and that's that, that's not even that's not even a complaint because I love the controls for them for uh, water movement in Rayman Origins. Overall, I do wish the final boss could have been a bit better and not so well long and just forced to wait kind of thing. I just the final boss could have been so much more, but no, they. I don't know, just, I, I wasn't feeling it, but really, if that's the worst complaint I have about a game, then so be it. Um, so I also am happy I managed to beat the entire game, the main game, mind you, without having to take any breaks, and have, I got a solid episode out every single day for the entire game, for the main story. That being said, I am going on vacation this weekend, so this may be my last video I post until after I come back from vacation, simply because I wanted to do a couple other videos now related to this Let's Play that'll take some time to edit, and being as I have to leave Saturday morning, I want to get this done, I want to try to get those done out of the way as soon as possible, because I'm going to be busy almost this entire week. So yeah, just keep in mind of that, if you guys don't mind, but I think you guys will understand. Most people are reasonable in that regard. But, uh, that's all I really have to say. I'm not really thinking of anything else to really talk about. My next Let's Play, well, uh, let's just say after doing a really hard game like this, I think, uh, doing something a little bit more relaxing, a little bit more easy, so to speak, would be a lot better. I mean, this game's not really known. I mean, I, I don't know. Just, th th that's pretty much it. That's, that's the only hint I could really give at this moment. I'll let you know if I can sync up another one later, but regardless, I think at this point I'll just probably let the credits roll for the rest of it. I really don't know what else to really speak about. I already said all my thoughts about this game. Uh, oh yeah, uh, if those who are not aware, I well I'll, I'll talk about it at the end because I'll that they'll add as a segue to the end. How long is it? I forget how long its credits are, but they're clearly not as long as Rayman Origins are. Rayman Origins had to possibly have the longest credits I've ever seen in a video game in my life. Like, I, I set it down, and I was trying to figure out how long it was going to take. And, <laughs> I, how long were those credits? Like, 15 minutes long? It was bad. It really was. It, it was worse than going to, like, a movie theater or something like that. I mean, they had... Like, I'm like, alright, they're finally done with this, with the credits. And then they go into a different language support, and they had like entire credits for that. They had like an entire credits reel for about like 10 languages. I'm like, wow, this. A lot of people worked on this game apparently. I wouldn't have thought that, but hey, whatever. But seriously, I think I will just uh, let it go for the rest, and uh, you can enjoy the pictures and scenery until I get back to talking later. Oh, it's, it's over. Well, that worked out kind of perfectly. Hmm, mysterious present. Pretty colors. Shiny. You found a mysterious relic. Combine seven mysterious rel relics to reveal the secrets beyond. Now, you may have remembered that I was saving all the Kong levels to the very end, till after I beat the game. So, those relics you get, you get, there are seven of them in the game. One from each temple level in the game, and one for being the final boss. So, being as we just beat the boss, all we have left to do now is collect those Kong letters, or, I'm sorry, not collect, collect those relics, and see what happens next. So, whenever I get back and I'll do another episode, I'll see you guys then.